Hello and welcome to our video about how to get rid of yellow teeth. You may want to use a whitening toothpaste if you suffer from yellow teeth. This type of toothpaste helps you to get rid of discoloration, which can be caused by certain medications. To get the best results, you should brush your teeth twice a day with whitening toothpaste. You can also use an electric toothbrush. If you have sensitive teeth, you should brush your teeth more often. These tips can help you get a better smile and whiten your teeth. Taking certain medications can cause discoloration. Yellowing of the teeth is a common occurrence, and it's not always the result of poor dental hygiene. Certain medications can cause teeth to appear discolored, including some common antibiotics and antipsychotic drugs. Children who are suffering from diabetes can also be at risk for discolored teeth. Drugs used to treat high blood pressure and certain types of cancer can also discolor teeth. In some cases, genetic conditions may also be to blame. Some prescriptions, such as antipsychotics and antihypertensive drugs, can stain teeth. Some of these drugs have the potential to stain the teeth because they inhibit the production of saliva, which is vital for cleaning the teeth. Fortunately, many of these drugs can be removed by a dentist after the first administration, but some of them can cause discoloration of the teeth that cannot be cured. Certain antibiotics can also cause tooth discoloration. Antibiotics for children under 8 years of age can affect enamel formation. Other medications can cause yellow teeth, including antihistamines, antibiotics for hypertension, and drugs that treat the brain and the nervous system. Certain dental materials, such as amalgam restorations, can also cause teeth to be discolored. Taking certain medications while pregnant can also cause discoloration of the teeth. Brushing twice a day. One of the best things you can do for your gum health is to brush your teeth twice a day. This will help get rid of plaque, a colorless microfilm that forms on your teeth. Plaque is filled with thousands of bacteria. These bacteria feed on the sugars in your food and convert them to acids. This causes your teeth to appear yellow. Brushing twice a day will help improve gum health and prevent the onset of gum disease. Another way to keep your teeth from becoming discolored is to limit the amount of staining foods and beverages you consume. You can do this by limiting your intake of red wine, tea, coffee, and soda. Also, remember to rinse your mouth after you consume these foods and drinks. Besides brushing your teeth, flossing can help remove these stains. These are just some of the reasons why brushing your teeth twice a day is so important. The best way to maintain a beautiful smile is to practice good oral hygiene. Keeping your teeth clean will reduce your risk of cavities, tooth whitening, and other dental problems. Children with yellow teeth are particularly vulnerable to these problems because they often do not brush their teeth as often as adults. They also tend to have poor oral hygiene habits, meaning that they rarely brush their teeth, floss, or use mouthwash. Other common causes of yellow teeth are acidic beverages and food. Using whitening toothpaste. Using a whitening toothpaste to clean your teeth will remove yellow staining on your teeth. While some of these products contain abrasive particles, dentists and researchers find these toothpaste safe for teeth and do not pose a threat to dental health. If you have sensitive teeth, however, you should avoid whitening toothpaste. There are seven natural ways to remove yellow stains from teeth. These methods will help you get white teeth at home and will prevent the use of harsh bleaching agents. Basically, whitening toothpaste contain a chemical agent to remove stains. Some of these products contain hydrogen peroxide. Even though the concentration of hydrogen peroxide is low, the American Dental Association has approved hydrogen peroxide as a regular ingredient in toothpastes for adults. Hydrogen peroxide has several advantages, including removing stains on the surface of the teeth and making them look brighter. However, you should use a toothpaste only after consulting with a dentist to determine if it is safe for your teeth. Another great whitening toothpaste is one that contains activated charcoal. This toothpaste not only removes surface stains but fights cavities. It also fights plaque on teeth. It is safe for everyday use. If you're worried about the safety of whitening toothpaste, make sure to read the labels carefully. The toothpaste should not be used in large quantities as it can cause damage to your teeth. If you're still unsure, consult a dentist for advice. Using an electric toothbrush. Electric toothbrushes are the latest technological breakthrough in tooth care. These tools have made the task of brushing teeth much easier, especially for people who wear orthodontic appliances. In addition, electric toothbrushes can be very engaging for children, and they help them develop good oral habits. For many, electric toothbrushes are the perfect solution to getting a whiter smile. However, they are not suitable for people with sensitive teeth or those who have gum disease. The first and most basic benefit of an electric toothbrush is that it is fun to use. It helps you brush your teeth well, which is essential in preventing tooth decay and gingivitis. The electric brush also helps you reach harder to reach spots and can clean around braces. 
Aside from that, electric toothbrushes are also great for those with bad teeth or those who have gum disease. These electric brushes can also remove stubborn stains and clean around dental braces. The second benefit is that an electric toothbrush is easier to use and can remove more plaque than a manual toothbrush. Most electric toothbrushes have an indicator light that will let you know when they need to be charged before you begin using them. In addition, you can brush your teeth with an electric toothbrush more effectively if you also floss regularly. This helps loosen food particles and plaque on your teeth, making them easier for your toothbrush to sweep away. Using Apple Cider Vinegar Using apple cider vinegar to clean teeth may seem like a no-brainer, but it actually can have negative effects on teeth. The acidity in apple cider vinegar is extremely high, with a pH of 3.075. This means that it can damage tooth enamel. As a result, it can cause sensitivity and discoloration of the teeth. It can also cause cavities. You should always seek a dentist's advice before using it on your teeth. The most effective way to use apple cider vinegar to clean your teeth is to dilute it with water, or other non-acidic substance. Do not swallow the vinegar directly, as it can weaken enamel. Instead, use a diluted solution, and gargle it for a minute. This method is not recommended for everyday use, but it does help in certain cases. Some people prefer to use this method for removing stains from coffee and tea. While using vinegar to clean teeth can help whiten your teeth, you should be careful to avoid too much of it. It can also damage tooth enamel, which makes it more vulnerable to tooth decay and cavities. It's important to follow your dentist's advice when using vinegar, as it can adversely affect your teeth's health. So, when using apple cider vinegar for yellow teeth cleaning, be sure to use it sparingly. Using coconut oil. You can use coconut oil to clean your teeth and improve your overall health. This substance can also be used for oil pulling. This method involves swishing the oil around the mouth and removing the bacteria from it. It can help you get rid of bad breath and prevent bacterial infections. Coconut oil is safe for most people and can be purchased in your local grocery store. You should use extra virgin coconut oil, which has fewer chemicals added to it. You should use coconut oil as a natural ingredient, as it contains a good amount of lauric acid. This substance helps fight harmful bacteria in the mouth, such as those that can cause cavities and gum disease. It can also reduce the growth of harmful yeasts called Candida albicans. While coconut oil has some potential health benefits, it should not be used as a substitute for professional dental care. Coconut oil should not be used on your sensitive teeth. If you're not sure about oil pulling, you can purchase a commercial product. This ingredient contains lauric acid, which is both antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory. Coconut oil can also prevent tooth decay and gum disease by preventing the buildup of bacteria on the teeth. It has several benefits for your mouth and can be an effective whitener. It is also a natural alternative to commercial toothpaste. Whether you choose to use coconut oil as an alternative to conventional toothpaste, it is important to have a regular oral hygiene regimen. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.